Hey guys, on today's tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to download iTunes for your Mac or Windows computer. So, whichever one you have, this is the same steps. First of all, open up your browser. So, whether you have Firefox, Chrome, Safari, whichever, it doesn't matter. Just type up here, you're going to go to apple.com. So, just type in apple.com. So, no matter what country you're in right now, you're going to do the same thing. Okay, so just type in apple.com. You're going to go into it. And up here, you're gonna see as your second op option from last, beside uh, the support option, you're gonna see iTunes. So right up here, okay. So just click there, and you're gonna see download. Okay, so overview, music, video, charts, and download iTunes. So just click on that option. So once again, that's up here, okay. So right away, it's gonna detect what computer you're at. So this is a Mac, so right now it's telling me that it's 12.1.2 um, for Mac OS X, okay. So, you can click on these, put in your email, okay, you don't really have to check these off. You can just put in your email, type in Canada, um, French, or doesn't really matter. You can type in USA as well here. It doesn't matter, okay? Just press download now and you're gonna download the Mac version. Now let's say you have PC and your PC version didn't come up right away. It doesn't matter. Down here, you can see get iTunes for Windows. Okay, so you can just click down here and here it tells you the requirements and same thing. Right here, you're gonna see this message which says iTunes 12.1.2, which is the same version for Mac and PC, just different files. You cannot install a Mac file on your Windows computer and you cannot install this file on a Mac computer, okay? So you have to download the appropriate one for your computer. So for your email, you can type in any email actually that you want. So I'm just gonna type this one in for now. And I'm just gonna put in Canada or just, you know what, let's just type in USA. And then we just download right now. Okay, so as you can see, it already started downloading. Um, for email, you can type in any email that you want. Uh, it is better that you type in a real email, but you can type in any anything that you want. So the one that I just did, typed in right there, it's just one that I made up. Um, but you can type in anything you want once again. Now to see my progress on my iTunes download, I can just go up here. Um, this for most browsers. Uh, especially Safari, you're gonna see this here. Just in case Safari is also available for PC, your Windows computer, so you can download it for that too. Um, same thing right here in Apple.com, you can download that. So once this is downloaded, uh, this is a Windows file, you can just uh, double click on it, and it's gonna take you through the process of installing. You just have to agree to the terms and conditions, and then you can install it. Now I'm gonna go back and download the um, Mac version, so you guys can just see the differences. So here's my Mac version, same email, this time I'm gonna type in Canada, doesn't really matter. Download now, and they're both downloading. So I just wanted to show you guys this difference. For Mac, it's a .dmg file, and for PC, it's a .exe file. So, um, they're different files. Once again, you cannot set up your iTunes that you downloaded for uh, Windows computer on your Mac. Same goes for your Mac. You cannot download and install um, the Mac version .dmg on your Windows computer. So just make sure to download the right one. Once again, .exe is for Windows. .dmg is for Mac. Okay. So once you download them, you install them the same way. Um, it's pretty rare that your Mac is not already set up with um, iTunes. They do come with iTunes already preloaded. But it does happen sometimes, um, especially when don't, they don't have the original OS on them. You don't get that iTunes. Uh, once and iTunes is free, so you don't have to worry about that. Uh, there's a bunch of software actually for Mac that's for free, and they do offer they do offer it for Windows as well for free. Uh, and then you just go to the process of installing, which which is just going next, next, next. Agree, and that's it. Then you open it up. I'm just gonna show you how it looks like once you download and install it. Um, this is how it looks like. It's pretty basic, okay? So nothing fancy about it. Um, this is the basic look for Mac. For PC, it's pretty similar. It's not the exact same thing, but anyways, that's what it looks like. 
Anyways, that's it for this, guys. If you guys need any more links or don't know how to download uh, other software out there, you can write them here below. Any questions, problems, once again, down here below in the comments area. And don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.